I t if you let me know, comment below if you do May, May Day. Um, I'd love to hear if you've done them before. Um, back in the 18th and 19th century, I kind of started telling you this. I'm on Facebook at Prairie Scraps Chalkin'. Um, Prairie Scraps on YouTube and Prairie Scraps Chalkin' on TikTok. Prairie Scraps on Instagram. I should get those together, right? Instagram and YouTube, Prairie Scraps. Prairie Scraps Chalkin', Facebook, and um, TikTok. But look at Prairie Scraps at all the places and you'll find me. Um, but anyway, I thought we'd make these May Day baskets today. Kind of out of things that we have around. My daffodils, aren't these gorgeous? They are going nuts. They are absolutely going crazy. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm actually back in 18th and 19th century. They used to um, gather spring flowers. And on May 1st, you would go and put a basket of flowers on your neighbor's doorstep and yell May Basket. And that's how the May Day started. But like I said, when I was a kid, we did our leftover Easter candy, made our own little cone baskets out of wallpaper books. I don't even know where those wall... Do we have wallpaper books anymore? But I made this on a different live this morning for one of the ladies. Um, actually, during COVID, we did May Day baskets because we felt like everybody was home alone. And especially for our elderly neighbors, we went around and did little May Day baskets. I've got all these daffodils they keep like multiplying I've got hundreds of them in my yard and of course they only last a certain amount of time so I thought I'd make some May Day baskets today because tomorrow is May Day and we'll go I'll get my kids to come with me and we'll deliver some May Day fun tomorrow some daffodils I'm probably gonna put them in a jar um, and I'm just using these uh, bags they're not even brand new i'm recycling bags a little bit today because um because that's all i have you know sometimes you just got to use what you got to use use what you have on hand so the first thing i'm going to do is come up with our little lip here to make it look kind of cute um but this is so inexpensive right like if you've ever priced out paper bags they're like 10 cents less than probably five cents a piece right when you buy them you can even get them at Dollar Tree, so that's a really good thing. This is a really cheap way to give away a little gift. Um, <clears throat> the lady I got this idea from, she gave one to her mail lady and to her beautician. I thought that was a really great thing. So she didn't like run and leave it, but I, I probably won't run because we don't want to scare our little elderly neighbors. But and I sure hope it stops raining because I don't want to put paper bags on people's front door stuff if they're. Um, if it's pouring rain so anyway I gotta kind of check with my daffodils I have these in a little bud vase I'm probably and you know sometimes you have these little bud vases like a dime a dozen okay one more turn I want to make sure it shows out right nice um, on there perfectly so one more turn on this and then we're gonna have the right size for this little jar but I'm probably going to use mason jars because I've got tons and I can spare them. You could use whatever. Use a little jar. Use a little, you know, you get a, some, sometimes you get these little bug bases and you just don't even know what to do with them all. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just use this paper bag and we're going to chalk on it today. So did you know you could chalk on paper? Of course, um, my last one I did it backwards. You know, there's a little crease on this. I didn't know. I, I knew that, but I didn't pay attention. I just went ahead and started talking. Um, so I'm going to do it on the other side, actually. The side that doesn't have the crease. And um, I'm going to use, today is the last day of the month. I'm pretty sure it's the last day of the month anyway. Um, I am going to use our monthly club transfer. It says, keep going, keep growing. It's got these cute little plants. And look, daffodils, daffodils on the end. So I think I'm going to put a little daffodil on this. It is wet because I took it in the house and um, washed it because I had that. I used that middle tree on that one. So we're going to use this again. If you have not joined my craft club, let me know. Just put club down below. I'll get a link to you. Um, you can join on my website and it's only $19.99 a month. This is the transfer. If you like plants, you should get this one. This is the transfer that's coming this month. 
Tomorrow will be a new one. It's a lemonade one. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. This was only my second time. I don't know why. I love this transfer. I just haven't, I know why. I haven't been home, you guys. I feel bad. I've been neglecting doing my lives and I apologize for that. But that's the great thing about owning your own business is you can do whatever you need to do for your family. Of course, if you're not working, you're not earning. So, but I was away at Pinner, so I was working for sure. So we're going to use this little daffodil part of this on here. And I just did some fuzzing because I don't want this to stick. And I'm trying to decide, I might actually do two because it looks like they'll both fit. So I just want to center this. Let's see. Using my fingers, eyeballing, nothing scientific about this. You can see it's a little crooked. Um, you do want to make sure that your um, transfers are not super sticky when you use them because on paper, it's going to stick more. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not have anything. I had an allergic reaction this week to a new medication that I was given. Which was not fun being away from home. Having an allergic reaction. So I'm just going to start with these two little plants. I just think they're the cutest. I love these little plants. I don't know why I haven't got... I want to do a t-shirt with this. So that's coming. I need to find a short sleeve t-shirt. I have a long sleeve pink one that I don't want to do long sleeve on. I think because I'm going to do the daffodils in yellow, I'm going to do the little pot, this little mug. Can you see this? So the two I'm using are these two end ones, the daffodils and then that. I think it's a hyacinth. So hyacinth going to have to be... Jeez, I don't know if I have purple. I am negligent in my colors. I don't have purple. Who ever heard of such a thing? This is bumblebee. It's pretty bright. Um, and I'm going to actually use one of our tools. This month, this month only, our tools are buy one, get one free. It depends on what tool you buy, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But make sure you check it out. So today is the last day. Last day to get this plant transfer as a club member and last day to get our tools. You can get that fuzz cloth for... Um, buy some, I think I think you actually get the I'm trying to think I might hurt myself it's Saturday morning it's raining I'm having troubles and I had an allergic reaction this week so it was kind of crazy crazy week crazy week okay I'm doing the daffies and I'm doing the cup and I will tell you that um, I'm not great at doing the little fine things so um, I'm sure you guys could do a better job. I would love to see your projects doing this. I am not good at this. I usually go over, but the nice thing is it always turns out despite me, right? I like, do you guys like the flowers to look authentic? Like, I don't like blue. Most of the time, blue does not occur in natural Natural nature, nature, <clears throat> like blue, um, look at those, they put them in corsages all the time, those things, like when they color things in the florist, I don't like that, I like the flowers to look real, I don't like fake flowers that don't look, even look real, okay, I do know that we want to have greens, and I actually, I think, I might use a darker green, I used my sage for the other one, but I think... I think this uh, garden herb is going to be a better green for this. So I'm going to do my greens because I know. Oh, maybe I'm not. Look at that. It dried up. So the cool thing is, is this is water soluble. You can add water. Ooh. This is way far from use. Distilled water. And you can mix it in. I think I'm going to let this be. This is, this is going to be a no-go today because it's going to take take too long. I don't have time. I don't have time or patience. I just want a quick little project, right? All right, we might go back to our sage. I'm going to go back to sage. Easy peasy, right? Sage, sage. All right, 
I'm just going to use this tool again. I just used a baby cloth. My sage was pretty dry as well. I kind of like using the sage, so I want to use it up. So it's okay if I do it on paper. Like I said, these are just paper bags, so they're super cheap. So if I make a mess, if it doesn't turn out how I want it to, we can fix it. It's all fixable today because we can just do it again. Throw the paper bag away. I'll, use it, I'll even use it in the fire because this is water-soluble, washable paste. So it's okay to put in the fire. Nobody's going to get hurt. <clears throat> do the greens here. And I might do a little pulling here because I don't want it to dry up. And I know that this sage is going to kind of dry up. I'm trying to get those leaves. I don't know. There's some in there. Some in the middle. So tell me, how is your weather today? How's your weather? So anyway, we went to the ER and then we came all the way back and my grandbaby gets sick in the car at night. She gets car sick. And so she, then we were coming back late. This is sticking kind of hard, so I'm gonna be careful about pulling it. I'm just peeling, chalking and peeling a little cause I don't want it to dry. You don't want your, ooh, and it's peeling up a little. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. So far so good. I just don't want to peel up the paper bag either. You could wax it, I guess. I didn't even think to do that. Okay, so see those, isn't that cute? Those are just the greens. I'm just going to pull those. Set that back down in the same spot because I want to get that flower in the right spot. And then I do want to pull this little teacup, the yellow teacup I did. That one's getting a little dry, so it's a good thing I'm pulling. Pull, pull, pull. Nice and easy so I don't tear the, the paper. So a couple things I should have <clears throat> maybe... Um, but I thought because it was wet, it was deceiving me. <laughs> it was deceiving me. I thought because it was wet, it wasn't um, really sticking hard, so I thought it was safe. Um, and I clearly wasn't. All right. Whatever. I think I'm going to do this color. I don't have purple, so you're going to have to bear with me. I would choose purple of some sort, but I don't have it. This is Shimmer Orchid. It just came out this year. You know I love me some shimmers, right? So I'm going to do the other pot. Oh my goodness, that was upside down, clearly. <clears throat> I'm going to do, and I'm going to get this out of here because I don't want it in there and drying up. I'm going to do the other pot, the daffodil pot, and my hyacinth in this purple. And I tell you what, I've got a hyacinth in this color, so it is realistic. I would prefer a darker green, but I'm, like I said, <coughs> I'm not that patient. Excuse me. See, aren't you glad this isn't, like, I, I'm honestly not sick. It's just, I'm not sick. I'm sick. No. Um, I just, I'm having an allergic reaction. It made a really sore throat. It felt like, um, after I took the medication, it felt like I had strep throat. It hurt so bad. And my nose started running and everything the whole nine yards I called so Wednesday I haven't finished all my stories a story it's a story and a story day today so I apologize I'm a little discombobulated we had quite a busy week so Wednesday everything looked good they released us they didn't they said you know see the neurologist on Thursday so my husband's like just stay in Boise because it's a five-hour trip home but I wanted to get my daughter and granddaughter home because they'd been out for six days with me at Pinner's. And so anyway, we decided to take the trip home, but of course we hit dark and she started throwing up and getting sick in the car. And as soon as she got sick, my daughter got sick. So everybody's throwing up in the car. It was a mess, it was a fiasco. Anyway, I'm gonna pull this up nice and easy because I wanna see if I got it or not. I might have to, I don't know how the top is gonna look. We'll see. Um, ooh, it's looking good, you guys. So far, so good. Yep, see, that's what I thought I didn't get. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to lay it down. This is a great thing about our reusable transfers. You could just lay them back down and kind of get the bottom edge. Um, get it down again. Try it again. 
So that was kind of a fiasco. Got home late Wednesday night, turned around at 4 a.m. Was it 4? Yep, 4 a.m. I turned around because we had to be at 11 o'clock at the neurologist. Went to the neurologist and um, still not getting it very good here. I want the top edge to look nice. <clears throat> All right, it's going to have to do. It is what it is, right? Um, and I can already see where this other one is not doing so good. Went to the neurologist, and then we were supposed to have a 2 o'clock EEG. And the address I was given, I went to, it was the x-ray place, not the EEG. EEG was in the hospital. So I went to the wrong place, and I called them and said, I'm in the wrong place. I'm running late because of it. I can't find you. Where are you? She says, I don't know where you are, but you're supposed to be in St. Luke's Hospital. So then I put it into my thing, went back to my car in the parking structure, and then the, literally map, Google Maps took me out of the parking structure, around the block, and back in the parking structure. I was in the correct place. I just went to the wrong building. They told me the wrong address. I was so mad. So, and all the while I'm calling them to say, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I got there. I had to stand in line to get in for COVID into the hospital. Isn't that the cutest? So cute. My little... My little hyacinth went down into my greens a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay, right? It's a paper bag. Um, so I'm running late. I called them, and then I get to the hospital. Five people in line for the COVID. Are you, have you had COVID? All these questions, and I'm trying to be patient, waiting in line, and get through that line. Then you have to go over to registration right over there. And so I had to stand in line in front of three people, and the lady ahead of me, like it took them um, 20 minutes to get through to her that she was there a day early. So I'm all the while going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. And then I get up there, they totally register us, print off our bracelets, do the whole nine yards. And then some guy comes over and goes, well, EG, EEG says you're too late, so we're not going to be able to take you today. I'm like, are you kidding me? We're from five hours away. So he called them and talked to them. They got us in at five o'clock. So we had to come back at five o'clock, but I didn't leave the parking structure. I sat in there with my daughter trying to keep her awake because she wasn't supposed to sleep and she was supposed to lose some sleep the night before. So she would sleep during the test. And um, anyway, isn't that cute? I'm kind of excited. Cute, cute, cute. I don't know. Maybe black would have been better on this little one, but I can you see the little shimmer on it? Isn't that cute? And, and I definitely would like darker green. So in the future, darker green than sage. Sage is too light for me. Um, so anyway, we just waited in the car, tried to stay awake, tried to put my foot up in the car. It's not easy. I'm not feeling great. I'm actually feeling kind of under the weather from this medication that I think I was having an allergic reaction to. And so take her to the EG. EG was, the lady was really super nice, which is nice because <laughs> I was feeling really bad. All right, so now what to put with this? Because I think we want to do something else with it. Got through the EEG. She got to sleep. I had to sit in the dark with her. Didn't really want to sleep and snore, although I was really ready. And then by that point, I had to get a hotel because my husband was like, you should just drive home if you're done at, you know, 2.30 or 2.40 or something. I'm like, oh, five hours one way, five hours the other way. I wasn't looking forward to that. I guess it worked out for the better, really, to not have to come back. So I was trying to find, okay, so we're looking for something to go with this to kind of put some words or something. I don't know. To dress it up a little. What do you think? This, so this other one, I put this little tag with it, plant kindness and gather love. Isn't that cute? This is one of our tags. It's a suede product. It feels so nice. So fun. So I was looking at this stuff. This one had some words. Every day is a gift.
I could maybe do that across the top. Make this moment count, shine bright. These are our Lots of Love minis that are out currently, and they are called Shine Bright Minis. I think they're so cute. They're like a little, you get 12 of them on a sheet. I've got them kind of cut up here. Um, the one I used on that tag, and I'm not, I kind of want to put like a saying across the top, so I'm kind of looking. I don't know if I could get this this all in here. I think this is too big. Um, maybe just hello. I'm thinking about just doing a hello. So this is our, you get six of these on here. This is a C tri size transfer, life in full bloom. And there's like six different things. It says, hey bud, welcome spring. Get buzzing with the little bees. Bees are in style right now. Live life in full bloom, hello, and grow. So I think I'm gonna use that hello on here. I'm gonna scrap my little, my little ones, my little ones, minis. Um, so anyway, that was our fiasco. We went and, and then by that point, my husband's like, I, I couldn't find hotels on Google Maps for under $269 a night, downtown Boise. And I went through them all and the ones that were cheaper, they looked a little speck shady, so I didn't want to do them. Um, anyway, my husband ended up going, this is the one, go to this one. And thankfully, he found the one that we actually had been to before. So that was nice. I had been to it with 4-H, so I knew it was okay. It is in a little bit of a shady neighborhood. Um, well, I think I'm going to do black on this. What do you guys think? Black? Um, if you're over in the chalk room and you're wanting more ideas on Facebook, the chalk room, let them know if you haven't gone there yet, look it up and let them know I sent you, but, uh, or ask me for, uh, a link. Cause I would love to get you in there. But Brenda gave me this idea. She's challenging everybody to do some May Day baskets. And I thought challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. That's perfect. My daughter was actually asking because a couple years ago when everybody, everything was closed down for COVID, we knew that of quite a few, you know, elderly people in our, especially in our neighborhood that were kind of stuck in the home um, and alone. So we wanted to cheer them up and we had tons and tons and tons of um, daffodils all over our house around our yard because I planted them. I'm pretty excited. It's fun to see them. I love the daffodils because the deer do not bother them, which is nice. Just trying to measure this up here. I'm measuring really unofficially. You want to fuzz this. This is the first time I'm using it. So I want, you want to make sure you fuzz it so it doesn't stick too hard to that paper, right? And paper, paper bags are kind of Kind of wimpy these days. Remember when they used to be decent? All right, we're going to do this hello here, making sure it's sticky down. I'm not going to do the wreath around it. I'm just going to do the hello, and I'm going to use little black velvet. This is how it's supposed to look. It's nice and creamy, dreamy. So nice. So anyway, um, I thought all day that we were doing all this stuff for the EEG and the neurologist that I wasn't feeling well. My throat hurt so bad. It felt like I had strep throat. Um, but I knew it wasn't. And it seemed like it came on when I did my new pill. And so yesterday I took it. I felt pretty good in the morning, kind of like I do right now. Pretty good. And then I took that pill and immediately like my nose started running my eyes were running oh I my throat hurt again so I figured out it is an allergy I started I'm like I just got to get home <laughs> I just got to get home so we got in the car and started home it was just the two of us so I tried to get my 11 year old to drive but you know she was against that cute cute it's a little smeary but that's okay that's okay I like it it's good. It's all good. So halfway home, I thought well, maybe I better call and see if it's okay if I stop 
Look at that. Is that cute? Probably has something like Happy Spring somewhere, something like that. All right, get our chalk put away so we don't dry it up. That's never good to dry up your chalk. You saw my green, right? All right, so this is going to be what we put the flowers in. And this doesn't have to be like anything fancy at all. You can just use what you got on hand, right? I'm, ooh, that lid is not on and that's dangerous. That's dangerous, right? Use what you have. Like I said, my mom used to have us pack up our Easter candy with a little grass in a handmade basket. All right, so we need a glue gun started here. Let me use that. <coughs> so I sound hoarse. I sound like I have a cold. I do not. It's just an allergy. So then I called. I thought, well, I'm sitting in the car for five hours. I'm going to call and make sure that, um, that I'm doing the right thing here, that I could go off the medication with no repercussions. Um, I'm gonna use this, I think I'm gonna use the same stuff. I got some. I decided to call in to say, is it okay if I don't take this? And they were like, Go to an ER right away. Go to an ER right away. Like, check in. I got this fab um, ribbon. Isn't this beautiful? I got this at a thrift store for 89 cents. It is vintage, you guys. It is vintage. I was thinking it would match the sage, actually. Um, there was a whole bunch of it. There was this kind... They were 89 cents. You could tell it's really old. I don't even know. It says made in Switzerland. Velvet ribbon, nylon pile, ram back. But I thought it would be kind of fun to put into projects, don't you think? Like, and it was green. So I thought, oh, spring. I need spring stuff. So I was thinking about putting a little, little bow on here, too, when I get my hot glue going. Um... And the lady is like, so what ER? I'm like, I'm traveling. I just want to get home. You're just going to give me Benadryl. Which I knew I couldn't take Benadryl. She's like, but this is an anaphylactic. I'm like, I'm aware it's anaphylactic. I'm still breathing. She's like, you, you'll you need an EpiPen. I'm like, I have one in my purse. I'll be home soon. That's where I need to be. So that's what I did. I traveled home. Don't do that. Don't do what I say. Do what I, or don't do what I do. For sure. I'm trying to get this back on here. This got kind of, it was in much better shape when I was, before I started traveling this last week. But we found some Goodwills. Sometimes, I don't know, Goodwills are getting kind of expensive. Have you guys noticed that? I love doing thrift store shopping. Checking out the Goodwills. Speaking of which, it's thrift store day, isn't it? So I got in last night and all I wanted to do was go to bed go to bed and I missed so I missed that EEG the one thing they rescheduled for me I felt really bad but I really did call and try to tell them hey I'm behind I'm lost help me and then I got stuck in their COVID transactions so that was not fun but um and then we were trying to make it back because my daughter decided she felt good and wanted to go to Irish dance practice yesterday and they had changed it around so we looked it up and apparently while we were traveling they changed it again and we missed it entirely so I feel kind of bad for her she really wanted to go she's been out for a while because of this seizure she's not been feeling great I think we're on the up and up she actually woke up <coughs> I don't know Trying to make a little bow here out of this velvet while I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up. I want it velvet side out. This is why it's nice to get, like nowadays, they make ribbon to be double side, you know, double sided. So it's the same on both sides. Most of the time you don't have to do this. But I think this stuff is so pretty. 
it's worth it, right? Just got to get it all turned around and then I'll cut it off. So I'm back. I got home last night and sat for a while and then went, I'm just going to bed. Tired, going to bed. I'm feeling better. I did ask for some Benadryl last night, but nobody went and got it. So I, and I was too tired, too tired to go get my own Benadryl. I was just like, forget it. I don't want to waste any of this, but I want this even. A little bit of teeny tiny waste. I think I'm going to put that right there. I think it's going to be cute. Do I have any hot glue? Oh, shoot. Please. Please heat up. The bad thing about battery operated hot glue gun is it runs out of battery quite often, actually. Especially if you forget it on. <laughs> which I've been known to do. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut kind of a, I want it to be about the same length, so I'm just gonna cut a piece about that long of ribbon. Buffalo check it is, right? We love buffalo check. I don't even know who's gonna get the second one. If you know somebody locally that would really enjoy getting this, I don't mind delivering. Oh boy. I am out of battery. That's not good. What do you say? Okay. <clears throat> so you get the idea with that. And actually, what I did to, you can see, because this kind of rattles around in the bag, if you just put it in there, there it's kind of rattling around. And um, Brenda, when she was doing it in the chalk room, she put a piece of fabric in there. But... Um, I don't have fabric out here. Fabric's in the house. That's kind of my my daughter's domain. But I found a good fill-in. Do you see that little white paper? That was actually my packaging from my craft store Endeavor. So it just happened to be here. They gave me nice sheets and I just put it back. I put it down in there. You could use tissue paper too. But I thought this is a little bit thicker, it gives it some depth. So then when you put the flowers in there, it's sort of, we're just, sorry, it's kind of crinkly. Noisy today, aren't I? Okay, so you could just put it down in there and it's not gonna spill. It's not as likely to spill, but it looks like it's a little bit of a filler. Kind of like tissue paper, right? Cute, cute. Okay, trying to, how fast do you think it will give me a little juice on my on my thing. Do you think I got enough? Please give me some glue. That's all I want, glue. Put this away. And I've got this little, isn't this the cutest? I've got this little uh, bow. I think I'm gonna put it right on here. Isn't that cute? Just a little green bow, kind of bring out that green. And then I'll put this on if I can get some glue going, right? Oops, don't tip the water, right? Daffodils are, I love them. I was telling you the deer don't eat them, so that makes them a nice, a nice addition. Nope, I didn't get enough. Well, you're gonna have to imagine that I already did this. I will post pictures for sure when I get, once I get them done, I'm gonna have to wait for battery on my thing. If I would have known that, I could have been all the while I was talking. Anyway, so last day of the month to get the club transfer. When you sign up for my monthly club, it's $19.99. That includes the shipping. So if you've ever done shipping recently, you know that's a great deal. And I'll show you the completed one. This is one version. And you guys, I'm losing my mind. This is the completed version, a little bit different version because I did a little tag for this one. This one's going to have a little bow and then of course our little give you an idea or a little thing and then I'll put some flowers in and we will deliver locally to a couple of people who maybe are shut in. Aren't those the cutest? I think they're super cute, super fun, super inexpensive, but 
when people when you drop something off at someone's house they're so excited that you're thinking of them I really do think it's a great idea um, to do a basket um, put club down below if you're interested in my club 1999 gets you that B transfer you want to do it today um, and get that little plant they're so cute um, and you get three of these little paste packets individual paste packets in the mail with it every single month right to your door fun craft club um, and isn't that fun I'm so excited I'm pretty excited so I don't know how many how many should I do I don't know how many I have I think I'm trying to think of what neighbors I can give them to so so anyway I just thought I would pop in and say hey I'm still alive I've come out the other side trying to get over this allergy um, trying to get my life back in order after being on the road for about a week and a half. We've been back and forth to Boise and I'm so glad. Isn't it great to be home? So stay tuned. We're going to be, I've got lots of projects. I got the new launch stuff in, so we're going to be show, showing that too. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do. If you guys do a May basket, please post them down below. Um, and also guess how many of those chalk paste there are. Go back in the uh, things. I haven't done the final one. I'm going to send out some happy mail to the winner. So please make sure you're guessing at least one time on how many chalk paste there were at Pinners. So thanks so much. It's on Facebook. It's on my Prairie Scraps Chalk In. So thanks so much for joining me and keep on chalking.